welcome back to my youtube channel have you ever thought about having an altar you call an altar of excellence where you exchange failure to success where spirits meet with spirit where you exchange fear for faith have you ever thought about that if you've never thought about that don't worry today i'm going to teach you on how to build an altar of excellence to help you to excel in your academics yes i did that and i'm not here to tell you something that i did not try in school i'm here to tell you something that i have tried and it worked for me and it is working for a lot of persons before we start i would like you to please like my video so take two seconds of your time and please click the like button Thank you for liking this video also don't forget to comment tell me how the video has helped you the aim is to form a community of excellent students that you always do well in their studies so when i built my academic altar i called it altar of excellence and today i'm going to teach you how to build an altar of excellence well you can call yours any name you want to. an altar is a door in the spirit what a door is to a building is what an altar is in the realm of the spirit so altar is a place where spirit meets where exchange happen so in an altar you exchange your fear for faith your weakness for strength and altar is an airport of the spirit and altar is where spirit lands it's a place of judgment as a child of god it's very necessary we always build an altar and today let's build our academic altar together whenever i change an environment the first thing i do is to raise an altar my prayer altar of course so many altars one thing i like about abraham is that he he knows how to raise an altar anywhere he goes and i learned that from him after i listened to a, a particular message about raising altars i decided to raise my academic altar so altars are very very important in the negative supernatural they have altar in the positive we also have altar though we personally we are altars because we house the spirit of god in us but then here i'm talking about building an altar and calling it a name now i don't want to make this a religious fact but i'm trying to tell you that this thing works it worked for me and i believe that it will work for you so now back to our discussion how do you build an altar first of all get a place okay by getting a place i mean a place that you will not be disturbed this is what i did i found a place that is very very convenient for me and this place was close to my wardrobe so i got that and i got that place and i arranged it the way i wanted and i anointed the place with olive oil already you might have an olive oil that that has been blessed by your pastor your prophet your reverend father or any person that you you respect the grace upon his or her life the oil must have been blessed so you use the oil or if you don't have any of this person though it's very important you have this kind of persons in your life but if you don't you can pray over the oil and then bless it and first thing you do is to anoint the area that you have found so when i found the area that was convenient for me i anointed it with an olive oil and then after anointing it with an oil the next thing i did was to connect my altar to the altar of the lord which i did through prayer now one thing about an altar is the consistency you don't tell me that you have an altar where you are not consistently praying there prayer is the only thing that actually connects your altar and what makes that place efficient is your consistency so you are praying at the altar consistently you are praying there every day so and now we are being particular about academic altar so what room i have to i have where i pray my priesthood where i do priesthood at night and then whenever i want to pray about my academics these things are not just something that i want you to just do religiously but it's something that you can do i did it it helped me a lot so whenever i want to pray academic prayers and or oh, i go to my altar and i stay there and i pray so but when i built this order what i did was that every night now i go there and i sit down there and i pray for maybe 30 minutes one hour i prayed like that consistently and 
And then another thing that you have to do after you've started praying in the in the altar is you are praying and you are studying the word of God. Now, because you are particular about raising an academic altar, you might decide to study the Bible as regards to academic excellence. Like you are studying scriptures that are particular about you doing well in school and the reasons why you should do well in school. So during my time, I loved the book of Daniel. So I do study the book of Daniel there. And then I get a book. I have this book, um, this sticker book. I get the book and what I do is to write down the passages in that sticker book and then I will paste it under my altar i'll paste like 10 of it so if you don't have any bible passage as regards to excellence thank god for google you can go online and search them out and then write them down okay study them keep studying them keep repeating them every day one thing about the word of god is that faith comes by hearing right hearing the word of god and the more you study the word, word of god the more it builds faith in you okay there are so many Bible passages as regards to academic excellence that God has put up for us in the Bible. It's just for us to go and search them out and speak them and say them to ourselves. God said to the to the four friends, Daniel and his friends, that to Daniel and his friend, he has given what he made them 10 times better. He gave them wisdom, knowledge of all kind of literature, and he made them 10 times better than every other person in babylon i loved that passage so much and i used it so much so i could pray and then i'll put my name there and i will make it mine i will personalize the word of god for myself i'll make it mine and every morning i declare it so every morning before i leave school i go to my academic altar i call it my altar of excellence i will go there and then i will speak god's word I will say those things I wrote out, I will say them, and then I will pray and I will leave for lecture. And it became so good that before I go for exams, I I go to my altar of excellence and I kneel down and I pray and I go with the spirit of excellence. One thing with an altar is that the more you are consistent with that altar, the, the, when you are consistent with a particular thing, you attract spirit there yes so when you're consistent with negative supernatural you attract the negative spirit when you're consistent with the positive supernatural you attract the positive spirit yes so when you're consistent in your altar of excellence you attract a spirit there and you, the spirit is the spirit for academic grace i'm telling the truth you as you attract spirit of excellence there that is what i believe so many persons might be like are you not trying to be religious no you attract a spirit there and that is the spirit of excellence don't forget to be consistent don't forget to be consistent so when building an altar consistency is the key so after building an altar try as much as you can to be consistent they pray there consistently study god's word there consistently please after watching this video i want you to raise an altar of excellence get stickers get these colored stickers that are very very nice and get a space anoint it with an olive oil don't procrastinate do it this night or do it tomorrow morning build an altar of excellence and let's see how it goes thank you for staying to the end of this video and i hope you subscribe please don't forget to like and comment so that i know you know your thoughts and how this video has helped you thank you very much